Hi, I'm Joe Freeman of The Oregonian, joined by Mike Richmond of The Oregonian. The Trailblazers' six-game win streak is no more. It ended uh, here Thursday night at the Moda Center and on national television against the Houston Rockets, 119 to 105. Uh, it was really very much a replay of the Blazers' earlier loss to the, uh, to the Rockets. Blazers led by 21 points tonight. They were playing as well and cohesive and as beautiful as they have all season. And then out of nowhere, it just transformed into a heap, heaping mess. Uh, and the Rockets took over. James Harden took over specifically. Uh, and the Rockets' defense. After uh, Damian Lillard and CJ played so well uh, for so many games, they finally were bottled up late, uh, particularly in the fourth quarter. Blazers offense scored just 12 in the fourth quarter. And what were they, 5 for 17? 5 for 17. Not, uh, not great. Yeah. And James Harden, to tell you how much he killed the Blazers, finished with 46 points, 8 assists, and uh, let's see, what else did he do? Two steals, five rebounds, made uh, 16 of 26 shots, uh, really was a one-man wrecking crew here tonight. Yeah, Blazers were up 21 with nine minutes to go in the third quarter. This was the start your post-game recap, seven-game winning streak celebration story, and instead it turned into a nightmare. Damian Lillard said it was one of those games where you're walking off the court and you think to yourself, damn, did that really just happen? It did. James Harden, 34 points in the last 20 minutes of the game. He was just dominant, 11 of 13 in the second half, 9 of 10 free throws. He couldn't miss, and he and he just did what he does, just destroyed the Blazers. But more importantly, the Blazers just, like Joe said, they just had no rhythm in that fourth quarter. Uh, Houston extended the defense, and the Blazers extended the turnovers. They just, they coughed the ball up left and right. CJ had four turnovers in the fourth quarter alone. He was really good for the first three quarters and really bad at crunch time. And uh, bad news for the Blazers is that they start a six game, nine day trip on Saturday against the Chicago Bulls. So they're gonna be on the road for a while with some tough tests coming up at Eastern Conference. Yeah, and instead of going into that trip with the seven game win streak, they've got this lurking in the back of their minds. You wonder if there's gonna be some type of a hangover. It really is a brutal trip. Uh, and it also uh, was a costly loss tonight because it squandered a chance to seize a tiebreaker over Houston and take a series three to one season series lead. They blew that, now the teams are tied. Also, they dropped to a seventh or a slash tie with, with Dallas. They're both kind of sixth and seventh there. Just a game back of Houston, and that's how close the West is, and that's how close this is gonna be moving forward. And each one of these games is so very important uh, moving forward. Uh, and this one stung. I mean, it really did. It, it harkened back to all those late game uh, squandered opportunities earlier in the season. It was very much like that. Uh, and just when you had gotten used to the Blazers being so clutch uh, in these situations and playing such good defense, both of those things betrayed them uh, here Thursday night. Harden outscored the Blazers 19 to 12 himself in the fourth. It was that kind of night. So uh, again, big, big road trip coming up. Uh, it'll be uh, kind of make or break for the Blazers. Uh, six cities, nine days, all on the East Coast. We'll talk to you uh, a long time from now in March. <laughs>